Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And Lucy Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Our mission is to help dyslexics rediscover their inner power. That's right. And um, today we wanted to discuss an article I actually found. Um, I was doing some research on dyslexia, and there was an article saying uh, that you can use things like Ritalin, medicines we use to treat, treat ADHD, mm -hmm. to help with uh, kids with dyslexia. And the article um, argued that um, children with dyslexia, they need to be able to focus, that often the difficulty of reading takes a little bit more um, effort, and so Ritalin helps focus them. So anyway, so I know we did that whole video series on ADHD versus dyslexia, but what comes to mind when you hear that? Um, I know that there are some dyslexics who do have ADHD. Mm -hmm. I, I know, but for some, like our son, mm -hmm. if we always go back to comparing things, is at the beginning we thought he might have because of the symptoms, and then when we um, fixed or, you know, um, gave him the right services for the dyslexia, the ADHD uh, symptoms disappeared. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of, you know, like our second book is nutrition, a cookbook, and mm -hmm. things to avoid and things to put in. And that helped tremendously to right. help him with the focus and right. concentration. And, and today, yeah. You know, anything that he does is natural things or healthy things, and they, there's no medicine. I mean, it's right. not a disease, right. dyslexia. So for a kid who just has dyslexia, mm -hmm. um, I would first go with n natural ways for sure, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Yeah, and, and even mm -hmm. for me, and I, I'm you know pretty Western-trained mm -hmm. pediatrician, um, believe in, in Western medicine, but to take a medicine, which I understand, you know, Ritalin helps concentrate the front part of the brain, which is, of course, one of the areas that helps with kids with mm -hmm. dyslexia so they can focus and, and everything like that. To do that um, for a child who doesn't have a disease, um, just as a different than learning, it, it just seems like it's, I don't know if the word's overkill, or it seems too much. And especially when there are things like, you know, we talk about in the cookbook, omega-3s, um, fish oils, and that kind of stuff, which have been proven to work um, to help concentration and focus. Um, you know, why wouldn't you go that way? I would hate to put my child on a um, medicine, or any of my patients on a medicine, that is kind of just helping them a little bit, but is not the, treating the real problem, the real issues. Mm -hmm. So. So anyway, so that, that's just our view. Um, I think that, that the other part of it is dyslexia is a, it's not an easy fix. Mm -hmm. So parents need to have a lot of patience mm -hmm. to get through the process mm -hmm. because, you know, we, we, our society we live in, we want a quick fix. And um, it's not that with yeah, dyslexia. Exactly. So you, you need to give time to things to work right. and change. I mean, it took four years for our son to right. go Get from 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 struggling to being independent. Right. So four years is a long time, right. but today, I mean, he's doing amazing, but um, they need time. Yeah, and I think looking for mm -hmm. a quick fix like a pill is, is you know, at least in, in, in our view, is not the mm -hmm. answer. Yeah. Um, there's so much else. And the other issue, I think, also is um, by medicalizing it. Like, the yeah. one thing that we did with our son, and our goal is for all dyslexics, is to see dyslexia as a gift mm -hmm. and is something that can lead to amazing parts in your life. And to, to think, oh, I have to take a pill for it, it's therefore a disease, mm -hmm. um, it's therefore something wrong that I have to fix with a pill. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, again, I think it sends the wrong message too. So. And, and the, the side effects of taking medicine. For sure. Um, what does it turn off or, or, or yeah. change or, you know, um, Let alone the blood pressure and the and the um, appetite suppression and all the other stuff that can yeah, possibly happen. So. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying it's not eventually something that somebody may have to get to a point of looking into that, but there's so many things before to that. do before yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, it's just, you know, our opinion on this and based on our research and our um, years of uh, experience. experience. So um, we'd love to hear what you think. Mm -hmm. um, leave us a comment below and visit us at dyslexicandunstoppable.com. Thank you. Thanks.